What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on the one year anniversary update that came out on Thursday August 15th and feel free to leave a comment down below and share your opinions on the update. But other than that, let's jump right into the video. The first thing I want to show you guys is a tweet from Gun Support to let you guys know that they are investigating the issues in the game. So Gun Support tweeted, We are investigating an issue in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where players load in incorrectly to lobbies and experience lag symptoms in public matches. And I will be also talking about the bugs that I've experienced in my matches throughout the video. So with this tweet from Gun Support, I really hope they do one of two things. Either release a hotfix to fix the issues in the game right now because there's a lot of bugs in the game now. And number two, what they could do is they could revert this update because this update is literally unplayable. You can't even play the game because of how many bugs and issues there are. And the scary thing is, I really hope they don't keep the game the way it is for the next two weeks. Because if they stick with that two week update schedule, the next update is going to be on August 29th. So I don't think they should allow that though. I don't think they should do that because... If they, if they leave the game how it is until August 29th, more players are going to leave. So they either have to have a hot fix for this game or revert the updates in my opinion. Now I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions about the one year anniversary update that came out on August 15th. And I'm gonna try to keep it short. So to start it off, I'm extremely disappointed with this one year anniversary update to be completely honest with you guys. I'm extremely disappointed because of how shit this update is i mean dude the game is literally unplayable it's broken it's full of bugs i'm going to be talking about the bugs as well for the lobbies and the actual gameplay itself shortly so stay tuned for that but let's just talk about the one year anniversary real quick for a one year anniversary update you want people to be excited about it and i'm gonna be honest the blood moon map is cool but overall, in terms of content for a one-year anniversary update, it's kind of underwhelming in my opinion. It's very underwhelming, actually. I do believe they should have increased the, the level cap for this one-year anniversary. It would have made more players actually play the game because now they're going to be grinding for something if they added a level cap increase. You know what I mean? And another thing is with the one-year anniversary update, you want to bring more people in your into your game with the one-year anniversary update. But with this one-year anniversary update specifically, it's actually pushing a lot of people away now because of how unplayable it is. And another thing is with the one-year anniversary update, this one's actually crazy to me. Because guess what? This update came out on Thursday, August 15th. And guess what happened on August 15th as well? August 15th was the last day for xbox game pass players and guess what a lot of game pass players now are not going to be playing this game now most likely because they're either going to wait for them to fix this update god knows how long that's going to take they're either going to wait for that or they're going to wait now until a sale because of how broken the game is i mean like like take a look at that guys that's so that's so like crazy because for the last day of like Game Pass users, that was the last day. So for Game Pass players, they had to experience that shit, that shitty update on their last day for Game Pass. Like, come on, dude. That is so unacceptable. And that is so crazy to think about. That Game Pass players, that was their last experience. Game Pass players, that was their last experience with the game. Was, was that unplayable, shitty update. And another thing with the one-year anniversary updates, I mean... Dude, it's so hard to defend this update. I've been defending these, these devs for like the past year. I've been a day one player. I've been defending them a lot. But dude, this, is, this update, you can't defend it. It's literally impossible. This shouldn't have happened. They have to have people that actually play the game test out the game. That's the, that's the key word. Players that play this game have to test out this game for the devs because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're releasing out there. This is unacceptable. Who's testing out the game? You need people that play this game a lot or content creators. Content creators can test out this game as well for the updates because they will give constructive criticism, which is good for the game. Constructive criticism is really good for the dev team because they can make crucial changes to the game. That will be game-changing and healthy for the game. But dude, like... What are we doing here for the one year anniversary? People were hyped about the one year anniversary and all we're getting is 
a broken game. And guess what they did? They added double XP on top of that. How the hell do you expect us to level up perks and our account level if we can't even play the goddamn game? We gotta go play private match because of how shit the public lobbies are. And right now, I'm going to be talking about the bugs in the game. So let's get started with that. Alright, so with the bugs in the game, I mean, I'm going to start off with the lobbies here first, and then I'm going to switch over to the gameplay bugs. So with the lobbies, I mean, god damn, the lobbies are complete shit right now. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, like, there's people out there that are having no problems with the game, but majority of the player base are having a lot of problems with, like, the public matchmaking in general. I mean, come on, guys. The public lobbies are completely garbage at the moment. I mean, the other day I was trying to play public matches with like my buddies and they would put my friends on the other team. And then with the lobbies, you're level zero, you have default perks, you can switch to either side in the lobby. Like how the hell does that make sense? And also in the lobby, or for an example, I'm gonna give you an example here. If you queue up for victim, this happened to me, by the way. If you queue up to victim, you can switch over to the family side and vice versa. If you queue up for the family, you can switch to the victim side. How the hell does that make sense? And the public and the public games itself are horrendous. If you somehow can get into a match, like for like the public queues, dude, the lot like dude, the, the servers are horrendous for the the public games. I mean, I tried public games yesterday night and this morning. People were saying they were teleporting in my lobbies. It was so delayed, unresponsive. You have your default perks somehow, your level is zero. It's dude, it's just it's just such a mess right now. I mean, come on, guys. For a one-year anniversary, this is what we're getting. A one-year anniversary is supposed to be exciting, not depressing. Like, come on, guys. And then let's switch over to the gameplay bugs. I mean, the gameplay bugs. Oh my god. There's so many gameplay bugs. The biggest gameplay bug I've seen that's actually nuts to me is Sunny's ability actually works for every victim, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I played as Connie and it worked for me, but I'm pretty sure Sunny's ability when he activates it works for every victim. And it also works for the family. I was playing as Hitchhiker yesterday and when Sunny activated his ability, it actually activated for Hitchhiker, which is actually insane. Another bug is the toolbox. I've actually played... um public or public matches today i actually tried it out and i got stuck on so many toolboxes and i died because of it and then there's also a fast hands a fast hands bug what else is there oh yeah the biggest the biggest thing i've noticed with this update is audio bugs there's a lot of audio bugs now i don't know if you guys have been noticing that but you can hear a lot of shit in your ear when you're playing like i'm i'm running i'm running in the middle of nowhere and the nugget a nugget notification pops up in my ear the close encounter button mashing appears in my ear. Danny, Danny tampering the valve appears in my ear. When Connie's unlocking a door, you can hear it. There's just so many shitty bugs in the game right now. It's completely broken. I mean, there's even a fuse box, a fuse box uh, bug right now. I mean, I don't think I saw, saw my short the other day, but I was doing math on the fuse box and it disappeared on me. I had, I had the number 10 on the fuse box and it actually disappeared on me. Like, what? Like, come on, guys. So many bugs in this game. It's it, the, this, the gameplay right now feels like they're actually making the game, if that makes sense. Th this gameplay feels like, like uh, what's it called? Like they're testing it out still before even releasing it, if that makes sense. Like this feels like, this feels like two years ago when they were starting out making the game. That's how bad it feels. Like it's literally unplayable. There's literally bugs in every match. And the other thing is with the, with the bugs, the, another bug is... When you're playing as victim and family, um, objectives are highlighted for you no matter what. I've, I've noticed that. Objectives are, are highlighted for you. And you know what's another crazy bug? There's a Danny bug out right now. So if you, play as, if you play as Danny, and let's say you go to a TV to get knowledge, the TV would, will actually be highlighted to the family team, and they will know exactly where you are because they can see what items you're getting knowledge from, which is, which is nuts, man. Like, come on. Like, those are the bugs that I can think of. If you guys have experienced any other bugs or yeah, something I haven't mentioned, leave a comment down below because there's so many goddamn bugs in the gameplay itself and in the actual lobbies, man. But I really hope they fix it because, dude, this is just so shit. Like, 
come on guys like you can't you can't defend this this update i know a lot of people are saying you know be patient with the devs you know be patient they're trying their best but dude we've been saying this every update now like there's always a mistake in e with every update always a mistake one mistake in every update always no matter what and this is the worst update they ever released and it's unacceptable man they have to have people that test this shit out because it's unacceptable the last thing I want to talk about is the one year anniversary content because I actually did make a video about what I would like to see for the one year anniversary update. And my God, I, I guess I had high expectations because all we got is a blood variant map, a blood moon variant map, a free chainsaw skins and a Danny cosmetic. So let's talk about all three real quick. I mean, Danny cosmetic, I like the cosmetic personally, but dude, we get a cosmetic pack every two weeks. So nothing, nothing special about a cosmetic. Next thing up is the Blood Moon variant map. Blood Moon variant map, I personally dig it. I mean, I don't mind the Blood Moon variant map. Like, I know a lot of people hate it, but I know a lot of people like it. And I understand why people like it and hate it. It is limited time, by the way, but hey, maybe they'll make it permanent in the future. I personally wouldn't mind it if they make it permanent because the more variants, the better, in my opinion. And then the last thing is the free chainsaw skins. Hey, you can't complain about free chainsaw skins. You can't complain about anything free nowadays. You know what I mean? But the thing is, in my opinion, if you're giving something for free to the community, I think you should put a challenge for it. So for an example, they released a bloody chainsaw skin for Bubba. And I think they, sh they could have made it where you have to get like 20 kills with Bubba in order to unlock that chainsaw cost or in order to unlock that chainsaw skin, right? I just think... I just think if they add challenges to free items, you know, it would actually make people want to play the game and grind for something. That's what people want. They want something to grind for us. And that's why I'm very surprised. But hey, maybe they'll release it as a surprise. But I'm very surprised they did not increase the level cap because they did mention that in one of their streams back then. And I'm very surprised. I'll be honest. I, I, I genuinely thought they were going to increase the level cap for the one year anniversary. I genuinely thought that. I also thought they were going to release a map, but I do think they didn't release a map and new characters because of the content pass that is coming out next month in September. But dude, it's just such a missed huge opportunity with this one year anniversary, I, I feel like, you know? I feel like the one year anniversary is supposed to be exciting, but it's just so underwhelming especially with how unplayable the game is like dude i'm literally trying to record videos out here and the lobbies are just complete garbage the gameplay is garbage i had I, honestly the past few streams i had to play private match because of how broken the public lobbies are private match runs much smoother more responsive no delay but obviously there's going to be bugs in private matches as well right but end this video off i'm not i'm not trying to shit on the devs i'm not i'm not i'm not pissed off on, at the devs i'm not pissed off i'm just disappointed that's all i'm just disappointed i'm still gonna play this game you know this game helped me build my community you know what i mean i wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this game so i'm not gonna give up on it but i do feel like this needs to be addressed and i do feel like that people need to hear this because this is just a big problem you know it's hard to defend it i hope the devs do better in the future I hope they release a hotfix or revert this um, update. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't sound. I hope I didn't sound too harsh to you guys because, like, I'm not trying to be harsh over here. I'm just trying to provide you know constructive criticism because I genuinely have fun with this game. But it's just with this update, it's just so broken and unplayable. But leave a comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about this update? What changes would you guys like to see? You know. But other than that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.